All right. It looks like everybody is here. All right. Um, uh, welcome all to Virtual Museum Tour. Uh, I am Dr. Doc, and I'm joined by the Jim Wigman at High Jam. Um, anyway, as you all know, due to recent events, we couldn't really go into the museum, so instead I've decided to bring some artifacts home with me. You did what? Here, let me show you this first one. This is a petrified log found at the bottom of the Caribbean Sea. Now, this is fascinating because if you take this apart, as you can see, some of the pieces come off, there's actually hundreds of Spanish doubloons in here. So this is just such a lucrative find. It's amazing. Those are not real art. So tell me more about that thingy. I, I just want to more, know more. Okay, so this was, I rethink that this was carried around by pirates when they were sunk by a British ship. And um, actually, if you see these, they look very similar to quarters and pennies, but they're not. They're not. They're doing it. So that's very wealthy, and we're so happy that somebody donated this to the museum. Whatever. Just to be clear, Doctor, you didn't have to take any real artifacts home, right? You dare question the importance of the petrified log? No need to... No need to be so formal. Please call me by my last name, Doctor. And of course I took real artifacts home with me. It's not like you could find this anywhere. Oh, th that's true. I've only seen a few of those before. If I could hit you through the screen, I would. You gonna tell us more or? Well, uh, uh, sure, I will. Um, absolutely. It's kind of my job, right? Uh, See, back in 1791, I believe, Sir Alec Jeffries discovered the lost city of Topier. Uh, anyway, uh, my cameraman Jan here is from Topier. Uh, Jan's great great uncle's cousin's sister's father uh, was named Kevin, uh, and he was the ruler of Topier. His people, the people of um, Kevin, were supposed to think for thousands of years lost the mystery of time. Good old Alec ventured into the wilds of the United of Raptor, was able to find a tome or a book of uh, that detailed their complete history, which is fascinating. Besides that tome, this paper plate is the only thing recovered. That didn't actually happen, did it? No, it didn't. Doctor, now to be so kind. Secret. Buddy, I don't even know what you're holding up. I mean, I don't think that it could even compare to this Look. in any way. All right. I mean, that doesn't even prove anything. I just. <laughs> but I hate to be on this moron side, but I want to see how this plays out. Is. First of all, Sir God Jeffries developed DNA tracking. And what's second? You obviously did. Ah. Oh yeah? Well then how about this? Wait, is that real? I recognize that mask. How did you get that? I, I, I found it from, like, I think it's from a murder investigation. It's just a cold case, technically. Uh, four teens ended up dead. Ballistics matched three of the deaths to the gun that the teens had. But the fourth one, Adam, I believe, they couldn't figure out how he died. The only thing they found there that shouldn't have been was that mask. Get down! You know what I'm gonna do to you! What are you gonna do about it? You know I've wanted this for ages. You can't just take cursed objects! 
You know, Doctor, I think you should light a candle. That's an excellent idea. What the fuck? Ah! You, oh, no! <laughs> you've kept me too long, Seacrest. You know what you have to do, Doctor. Yes, you do. Come on now. Well, couldn't hear you, darling. I won't. You will. You will. All right, Adam. Louder, Adam. <laughs> uh, for your loyalty, I will keep you alive. Uh, you're quite fun to play with. What have I done?